I mean, come on. I'm happy with that. All right. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. This is my last in a series of videos where I've been talking about toppers all month long. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take off the topper and also some mistakes that I made in the application of the topper, which I didn't really see until I reviewed my video. Right here, right now on Silver Linings. If you're new here, I want to welcome you on this channel. I talk about silver, gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and I also talk about the care of our natural gray hair. So what I'm going to do basically is a reaction video. I'm going to react to my own video and show you the mistakes that I made in putting it on. And then, of course, as, as the video says, taking off the topper. So here we go. The first thing that I'm talking about here is how a square, a headband, put a headband on and nobody's ever going to know you have a wig. It's just a wonderful trick that a lot of people who wear wigs do. And um, I will post this video uh, in its entirety probably after I upload this one, but I'm reacting to this video so I wanted you to see it. Now, you can see how beautiful it looks when you're wrapping your own hair around the piece. Now, I made a mistake when I put the piece on in that I didn't catch all of my underneath hair to wrap around the pony, so be careful about that. Um, and it's probably because of the bobby pin that I put in that area on the left of my head. If you look closely, see? Let me back up again. Watch closely. See? Right there. That little piece of hair right there didn't get incorporated all the way around the pony. So just watch that. That was that was mistake. Actually, that was mistake number two. Let's continue. It looks beautiful, though, and it, it's amazing. You could take your own hair and wrap it around. Just taking taking the uh, the pony out. But you, again, see how white my hair is underneath? It doesn't matter because this has so much white in it. You can really blend it. I think that the more you practice on a topper, the better off you're going to be. See that? Look at that. I mean, it, your own hair just blends in. Okay. I'm just talking about the blending of my hair. The length of my hair is shorter, but I'm keeping the length of the topper because I want to be able to wrap it around a pony. Again, so just loosening up the combs here. And now you can kind of see right here, look at my cursor in the middle of my top of my forehead. There's the mistake that I made right there. I should have split my hair, made a part in my natural hair, and had some of it go to the left and some of it go to the right. And I'm going to do that in a few minutes. But I was rushing, so don't rush. That's the lesson. Take your time. See, you really can see it right up in there. It's a telltale sign that you've got a topper on. If you're, if you're not using the whole lace front, or you're not at least whatever hair you pulled out, Incorporate it, incorporating it correctly with the topper. So you're just going to roll it back. Just roll it back as gently as you can. Sometimes the hair gets stuck a little bit in the combs, but just take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. And then, of course, just showing it had this particular topper has the five clips. And we're almost to the end of this video. And then the rest of it is just the comb out, and, uh, and that's it. And as I said, I will um, 
I will post this short video. This is only a four and a half, four, four minutes and change video. This is my hair as it is. A lot of people ask me, is that your, is that your own white hair? Yes, it is. This is the hair that God gave me. <laughs> and, I, and I do love the color. I just wish that there was, that there was more of it. Okay, so we're done with this video here. And um, like I said, I will post that. I will post that for you so you can see it. Now, here's what I should have done. Um, so when you're putting your topper on, I know that I'm going to want to leave some of this hair out. So what I'm going to do is just split this hair here. I'll probably keep out some of this too on the side. Again, it doesn't have to match perfectly, everyone. It doesn't because you're going to blend it. I'll take my glasses off. Right? But you still have to be able to see, right? Now I've got my It Stays. It's been upside down for a while. And I'm just going to start to put the uh, It Stays right here on my natural hair. If I don't do it, it's going to slide back. I'm not putting it up here. You can see it kind of glistening there. I'm afraid to do too much. Take it off. Look over here. Look, there's a knot on the top. So I'm going to be careful. This, this one's almost empty. Okay. All right. So, come here one more time. As you can see, this is working very sparse. So right over here. Okay. So now, we're going to take our piece. Make sure there's no hair in any one of the combs. Just, you know, turn it upside down and you've probably got a few hairs stuck inside the combs. Just lift them out. Bang side toward yourself and combs are all open. I'm thinking about taking off of taking these labels off even though they're underneath but still they add bulk um, but then sometimes you don't know which which piece is which which piece it is so I'd have to use an indelible marker and just write the name of the the uh, piece right there. My part is usually over on the left. So I'm going to pull my hair over this way and then you'll see how I line it up. Even though this is a middle part, I'm going to line it up with my own natural. So there's my natural part. See that? That's what I should have done before. Okay, so now I'm going to hold it, and it always moves just a tad when you clip it. So I'm, I'm moving it like an eighth of an inch lower than I normally would. Then grab a little bit of hair and clip. Other side. Grab a little hair and clip. Sometimes you can hear the clips really well, other times not so much. Okay, and then we have grab your clips from your hair. Okay, and then I have another one in the back. Oh, make sure you hold the top. This is the most important part because you don't want it to ride back on you, even though I have the It Stay. So before I do that, I'm going to press, 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 press. Just press and hold it. Oh, 30 seconds or so, but just kind of press down and move your hands. 
Now this has a monofilament top also. So what I could have done was I could have just changed the part. But as I said, I was in a hurry when I did that video. So I need to do it again. Okay, so now that should be good. So now I'm going to, going to get that other clip in the back. It's open, so push up and then snap. One in the back, push up, and then snap. And then there's one more. I know there's one more back there. Grab a little hair, push up, and snap. Okay, so now it's on. I've got another clip back here. Again, I'll speed up this spot, but I just want to make sure it's all incorporated with my hair. And honestly, I am getting to the point in my little life where I think this is a little bit too long. It's not flattering, I know. But I do, I do want to pull it back. So now, remember, this has, um, this has a monofilament top. So I can part this wherever I want. And you can see, here's the mistake that I made before. There's that same line of uh, demarcation, right? Right there. We have to take care of that. So I could do one of two things. I could pull it like here. Oh, and I could feel some of the It Stays glue. I just pulled out a piece of hair. I could go like this and make it go up. But I'm not liking that so much. So let me see what happens if I take some of this right here. Remember, the monofilament, it's going to look just like your scalp. So if I take it from this side, just pull it over. There's a comb right under there. don't really like where that comb is placed. I think I said in another video that I'd probably want to take those combs out and just use my It Stays. Again, so you can have that part wherever that monofilament is. And it's, this has a very, very generous monofilament. So you see what's starting to happen? Right? And do this a few times. I mean, I've only worn this topper probably three times. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time just to get to know. It kind of wants to, you know, straight from the manufacturer. It wants to fall a certain way. But the more you train it, I think that looks pretty realistic. And then of course this part. Now I know that my it stays isn't totally dry yet and I don't want to I don't want this thing to ride back on me. But just kind of work with it. Make sure your it stays is dry if you're using that. Some of you might not need the it stays. Some of you may be blessed so that the topper or wig stays where you put it. Or maybe you use a wig grip. I don't like them. They're too hot on me. On you it may be it may be wonderful. So there, we've got the little bump up there. Let's get rid of that. And now I'm just incorporating the rest of my hair. Okay. So now I'll take and pull it back. And I could leave it just like that and just put the band on it 
right? But I'm not going to do that. But I don't want that long, that long look. To me, right where I am in my life now, right around the collarbone seems to be the most flattering look. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit below. But this is a beautiful topper to, to make a pony. A low pony. Now I'm just going to work on that part just a little bit more. What I'm going for is to be able to really see it. I want to see more of that part. I'm kind of just digging right in there until I see it. Now I'm starting to see it, right? See? Looks like part. Looks like scalp. That's what we want. That's why you want the monofilament top, because it looks like a real scalp. Because remember, these bangs are very long. And in this particular case, I just think it's nice if you have some face framing. That's why I did that, that big tendril curl. You cannot really see. I want to make sure you see it, but you really can't see where the topper begins and where my hair starts So now, if I wanted to take this out, make a tendril, take this out, you know, give it a little curl. I think that would be nice. So. Okay, so I could do something like this if you've got a beautiful barrette. And of course, there's my own hair hanging out there. Or I could pick up all of my hair and put it in that barrette or do as I showed you at the beginning of the video and first let me catch all of my hair Nobody's ever going to know, because that's your own hair down there. Now, I don't know what this piece is sticking out right here. Oh, that's my own hair. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on. I'm happy with that. All right. So now let's see. And you can see it almost looks like it's highlighted or low lighted right here. Doesn't it shaded? <sighs> Beautiful topper. Okay. Now let me take this out.
Okay. Or a tip for you to do the low pony. You're going to gather the hair as low as you can on the back of your nape. If you do it too high, you're not going to have enough hair to wrap. Okay, you're going to gather the hair and you want it at the lower part of almost just right above the occipital bone. Just right around there. If you don't keep it low, you're not going to have enough hair to wrap. Okay? All right. So, here we go. To grab your hair, just want to smooth this part a little bit more. Because once it's in the ponytail, you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Grab your rubber band. Again, keep this low. Right here. That's one, two, three, four, three. Third one is always the toughest. <laughs> Okay, and then just kind of push it down, just pull it out a little bit so it's not so tight to your head. Looks good. Now, we're going to take the rest of the hair, our own natural hair, I'm going to catch it. <clears throat> You're going to need two to three bobby pins. So now this piece right here, just watch out. But you can see that it's very realistic looking. And again, these, I could curl them. Or if I wanted to, I could have pulled that one back in, but that one it's I think it's doesn't want to go it doesn't want to go back that way. And then just take this, take your comb so that it's not so tight to your head and just push up <coughs> smooth it out. There's my natural hairline. There's the scalp line. Right there.
So, ladies, if you're missing your long hair, there's things that you could do. And, you know, you can have this elegant, this elegant look. Just practice. I probably could have even pulled that lace front down almost to where my widow's peak is. Just pulled a tiny bit of my own hair out. It's very forgiving. It's very, very forgiving. And I actually love the, love these tendrils. I could pull some out on this side, some more of my natural hair. Let's see if I do that. just want to make sure it's my hair, not the, not the topper. Let's pull some more of that out, right? pulling out your own hair it just makes it look so realistic it's almost like the messier it is the better remember the days when every every hair had to be in place and I could even take this little piece right here I could pop a little hairspray on there right just so that this piece here isn't falling kind of accentu accentuating that widow's peak Give it a little more volume there. Okay, okay. so you can see that so. there's a lot of things that you can do with a topper. It's much cooler than a wig. And um, again, just make sure this these parts right here, where you're incorporating the topper into your own hair, spend some time working on that, building that skill. And... Uh, kind of pull it away from your head a little bit so it's not smack to your head and I think that you've got a beautiful beautiful look and you can still kind of have your long hair so thanks so much for watching I hope that you're having a wonderful week I hope that you have a wonderful fall and I'll see you next time on Silver Linings bye bye